Hi, my name is Dr. Justin Davis, and today we'll be discussing a common sports injury known as a knee in known as a knee injury. Now, the knee, while it looks rather simple, and everyone has two of them, is actually a fairly complex and very important part of the body. The knee is where the upper leg bone, known as the femur, attaches to the two lower leg bones, known as the tibia and the fibula. But this attachment is very complex because there's a lot of what is known as cartilage, as well as different kinds of tendons and ligaments that attach it in all different directions and ways so that you can have very controlled and stable leg movement. Now because the knee is such a complex structure in your body, and because it's so important in so many daily activities, whether it's just simply walking or getting up, or if it's more rigorous activities like sports, there's a lot of different kinds of injuries that can occur to it. Probably the most common types of injuries are, will either be from a sports injury where you twist it or turn it the wrong way, thereby damaging the soft tissue. And when I say soft tissue, I mean, for example, those tendons or ligaments that act as rubber bands and attachers for the bones. Or sometimes you'll have another injury known as some kind of blunt trauma where it's actually hit. For example, you may fall very hard on your knee and you could break your kneecap or you could just bruise it very badly. Um, there are other things that can affect knees such as there are other things that can affect knees such as arthritis, but these aren't typically known as injuries, so we won't be discussing those today. Now, the symptoms of a knee injury is typically pain and swelling in the knee, regardless of what causes it. But the pain may be located in various locations, depending on exactly which injury. Treatment also depends upon what kind of injury you sustain to your knee. So for example, often you'll see athletes that are running and twist the wrong way, and they may have what's called an ACL injury, an anterior cruciate ligament. This is a particular kind of ligament that's located in the knee that holds it and stabilizes it in a certain way. So when you twist the wrong way or too hard, you can sometimes tear this. Now you also have other ligaments and you also have different tendons in the knee and similar injuries can occur to these by twisting or falling um, in different directions. So how do you prevent this? Well, there are different ways to prevent knee injuries. Um, first of all, recognize that if you're doing any kind of competitive sports or athletics, you're more likely to have a knee injury. And if you're going to be doing this, then it's, it's important to take precautions that may help you to avoid these. Some of the precautions are, of course, wearing proper gear. So if you're a runner, that might mean proper shoes. Or if you're a football player, the proper padding. But other important pr um, precautions that you should take are good stretching and good muscle training. Why good muscle training? Because don't forget the muscles also surround the knee and control a lot of its movements. So if you have strong muscle groups surrounding the knee, there's a lot less chance that there's gonna be pressure put on or tears put on some of the tendons and ligaments that can cause knees. Um, if you suspect that you have a knee injury, well, the good news is it's rarely an emergency and you can wait until later to fix it. Now that doesn't mean that you should continue doing whatever you're doing if you've injured it because you may only make the injury worse. It simply means that what you need to do is stop doing your action, rest it, put some ice on it immediately, and then call a physician who may tell you to um, wrap up your knee and perhaps take an anti-inflammatory. Some of the treatments for these knee injuries, again, will depend on what sp specifically is the injury. Often it's simply just rest and stretching and taking away the inflammation. But in other cases where there's a true tear, like with an ACL tear, you may need to have that ligament replaced or, or repaired. Um, sometimes x-rays are enough to diagnose a knee injury or just a physical exam, but other times uh, it may require an MRI to diagnose a more complicated soft tissue injury. Whatever kind of injury it is and whatever the proper diagnostic and treatment modalities will be, it's important that once you're injured, you stop doing what you're doing, rest and ice the knee, and then when things feel a little bit better, then notify your 
trainer or your physician right away.